In Torrance County, New Mexico, that sheriff's deputy just smashed an innocent driver's mirror. 10-4. <coughs> Copy 7-0. The deputy, identified as Chad Whitson, is investigating a crash scene. He is walking along the middle of the roadway wearing all black and no safety vest. And as he takes photographs, he is clearly angry that some motorists passing by are not slowing down to his liking. Here comes another driver. I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. Well, you you see the red lights? I did. I then slowed slow down. I did. Slow You're free down. to go. You know what? You just busted my car. I did, cause you almost ran me over. You're free to go. At least one of the drivers who got a busted mirror complained to the sheriff's department. But as of this video, Deputy Whitson is still on the job and his supervisors are not saying much. The incident has prompted headlines including insane cop walks into traffic starts smashing side view mirrors of innocent people's cars. This all began at dawn on Monday, October 17, 2022, near Mountain Air, New Mexico. Police received a report of a crash, and Deputy Whitson was one of the first on the scene. Were you involved? No. No? I think I... The what? I don't know what happened. Okay. You okay? It was, it was my husband. Oh, okay. So. Oh, shoot. Okay. Hey, hey, do, do, give you me your necklace. Okay. Oh, wait. No, 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 no don't. No, don't. Leave the necklace on. Let How are you feeling, man? You your watch. Okay. Ambulance just pulled up. Do you need his watch off? Just, it's fine, Jerry. Is it that hand that's smiling? Were you in the car? No. Where's the Where's the car that hit him? She got back to Mountain Nursery, I said. Who was it? It was a gray truck, she said. A gray older truck. In other words, it was a hit and run. With the EMTs tending to the injured man, Deputy Whitson starts surveying the collision and taking photographs for evidence. First, from the side of the road near the train, he takes a picture of the crashed car. <coughs> and then he snaps a few more. <coughs> At this point, the deputy walks toward the injured man's wife and asks for vehicle information. You know where the entrance and registration is? Okay. Okay. After photographing the license plate, Deputy Whitson walks to the roadway and talks to radio dispatch. Go ahead. <laughs> New Mexico 28 of Adam Tom X ray Lincoln 32. It's going to be on a red Chevy Camaro, heavy front end damage. The other vehicle fled the scene. Suddenly, the deputy reaches his arm out. Are all tires inflated. 10 4. Deputy Whitson doesn't seem triggered or infuriated, and what is especially spooky is that he keeps going about his duties in a deliberate, matter-of-fact style. Yet, it happens again. Well, you you see the red lights? I did. I then slowed. slow down. I did. Slow You're free down. to go. You know what? You just busted my car. I did, cause you almost ran me over. You're free to go. <coughs> Deputy Whitson coughed a few more times over the next several minutes. <coughs> And when he walked back to get more information from the crash victims, he appeared to groan and flex his left hand. But other than that, he showed no emotion and interacted with people on the scene in a seemingly normal manner. 
At one point, he even joked with one of the victims about the location of their other car. Well, why do you have his vehicle stuck in the backyard? <laughs> You should know. Still, it is hard to forget this. Do you remember all tires inflated? 10 mm. This body camera footage was first posted to social media by the crash victim. The man was taken to the hospital for his injuries and said on top of the physical pain, he was emotionally troubled by the deputy's actions. The crash victim said the deputy began an investigation, sort of, but never seemed to ask for more police units to look for the truck that caused the accident or more police units to help secure the roadway. The crash victim saw in the footage that the deputy walked on the highway without a reflective vest, broke the mirrors of a few passing vehicles, and blamed it on them. At another point, the crash victim said Deputy Whitson asked if he, the driver taken away by ambulance, had been wearing a seat belt. The man said yes. But later, Deputy Whitson walked up to the man's wife and told her that her husband had not been telling the truth. So your husband lied to me. He said he was wearing a seat belt. He wasn't. So he's going to be receiving a citation for that. That's right, the deputy issued a citation to the injured driver for not wearing a seatbelt. The driver insists he was wearing a seatbelt. But putting aside this dispute, why would the deputy badger the man's wife with that? Just issue the citation. Secondly, the deputy's own body camera video appears to show that he, the deputy, was not wearing a seatbelt when he rolled up in his cruiser. So this is another case of a law enforcement officer's epic hypocrisy. A deputy with an ego has one set of rules and standards for a citizen and no rules or protocols for himself. And by the way, this is the same cop who didn't wear a safety vest and deliberately smashed the mirrors of innocent drivers who drove by. And after all of that, to then issue a seatbelt citation to a hit and run crash victim who was on his way to the hospital and lord that over the man's wife? Talk about sick. As I mentioned, this sheriff's deputy, Chad Whitson, is still on the job in Torrance County, New Mexico. He is arguably a psychopath. So if you are anywhere near Albuquerque, New Mexico, beware. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us. Do you remember all tires inflated? 10 4. <coughs> Copy to the Noah. I didn't see you there. Well, do you, do you see the red lights? I did. I then slow you. down. I did slow You're free down. to go. You know what? You just busted my car. I did, because you almost ran me over. You're free to go.